If you've been following, following, we are in volume five of the Bible story. And guess what? We're at the last story. We are in part four, story 11, Jerusalem captured. <clears throat> and let's get to the story. Everything Jeru Jeremiah prophesied about Jerusalem came true, just as he had said. The Babylonians took the city and destroyed it. They first came, you remember, in the days of Jericho. Jericho. Jehoiakim. J e h o i a k i m, and took away Daniel and his friends and some of the treasures in the temple. <clears throat> After Jericho's death. They came again during the three-month reign of his son, Jerohochen. Kim and Shem. Ah. Uh, sorry, just my brain went, went somewhere else. This time they took the young king and his mother and his servants and his prince to Babylon, along with all the treasure of the house of the Lord and the treasures of the king's house, just as Isaiah told Hazekiah it would happen someday. They also took away seven hundred soldiers of all and all kinds of skilled, skilled, skilled craftsmen into the city. In the city, it was then that Nebuchadnezzar. The king of Babylon put Zedekah, Joachim's uncle, on the throne, thinking he would be loyal to him, but he wasn't. After a few years, he rebelled, and Nebuchadnezzar's army came against him in a fury. This time, the siege of Babylon lasted two and a half years. As it went on, all the food in the city was eaten. Famine prevailed in the city, and there was no bread. At last, the Babylonians broke through the walls, seeing there were no hope of holding out any longer. All men, all the men of war, fled by night. The king was with them. They got as far as Jericho, but that was all. There the Babylonians caught up with them. Zedekah was taken before Nebuchadnezzar, who ordered that his sons be killed before his eyes. Then he was blinded, bound with feathers of brass, and carried to Babylon. So Zedekah was blinded. Oof. Such a miserable fate of the last of the king of Judah. Little more than 400 years had passed since David, David's coronation with all the high hopes he had that day. Now his throne was no more. And so far as anyone could see, at that moment, his line was dead too, had died out. As for Jerusalem, Nebuchadnezzar sent his chief marshal to do, go to do a thorough job of, of destruction. He burnt the house of the Lord and the king's house and all the houses in Jerusalem and every great man's house. Then his soldiers went to work on the walls until they had broken them down completely. Nothing was left of Solomon's beautiful temple. The two great bronze pillars were broken into pieces, as were also, and then it has an illustration of them capturing the stuff 
in the temple. Okay. Okay. As were also turn the page if it's, it's stuck together. The base and the brazen sea. All the metal being carried to Babylon. Nobody was left in or near the city, save for a very few very poor people. The rest was taken into captivity. So Judah was carried away out of their land. Now, how sad, how very, very sad. Suddenly the angels must have wept as they were thought as they thought of all that God had done for the children of Israel since he brought them out of Egypt. The mighty miracles of at the Red Sea and Jordan, the gracious victories of Joshua, the wisdom and fame of Solomon, and now this, what failure, what disappointment, what heartbreak and what of the promise to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? What of the promise to Eve in the Garden of Eden? What was God's beautiful plan wrecked forever? Had he lost the battle with, a, with evil? No. Dark though the night had become, a star of hope still glimmered. Faint through though it was, it would grow brighter and brighter with the passing years. God is never defeated. Far across the desert, in old Babylon, he already had already start to build again. And then it has a picture of a poor family looking at the devastation of Jerusalem. And then we turn a page and we have the inner page again of the floating accent. And then of course the end looks like this, the book. Okay, so that is the end of Bible Story, Volume 5. Now I got five more to go through, and we'll have it all. And I'll see you in the next one.